Hello and welcome to this Drive How To tutorial video. In this video I'm going to be covering a cool feature that probably most people don't know about and that is the hand chart deviation report. It's located usually to the far right of your reports. It's available for cash games and for tournaments and essentially what this does is it allows you to run a check after your sessions to see if you made any mistakes. Primarily pre-flop, you can do some post-flop stuff, but um, primarily to see if you made any pre-flop mistakes. Um, DriveHUD comes with a couple of preloaded charts, one that are GTO recommended raise first end ranges for cash games, and then a tournament push or fold uh, hand chart as well. So all you really do to run this is, let's say I wanted to check this session here. This is six max cash game, so I'm gonna run the GTO raise for sin six max cash game. Just click run, and then instantly I'm gonna see how many uh, errors I made that I, where I deviated from the recommended GTO raise first end um, charts. So if I go over here to the right on the hands, I can see um, my action is on the top. I raised, recommended action is fold in this situation. And you can go down the uh, chart list here and it'll do the same. You can load this up uh, in the hand replayer um, and replay it and you'll see what the recommended uh, action is as well here at the top. Hand action chart recommendation is uh, fold. Obviously I opened in this situation. So if I play the hand here, looks like uh, it was opened and the ideal game theory recommended uh, option here in the uh, low jack is to fold. So um, pretty straightforward and simple how to use this. Um, it's just great as like a little tune up. And of course, there's plenty of valid reasons why you might uh, deviate from um, a game theory uh, when you're actually playing um, but also you can create your own charts here three bet um, specific only ranges or four bet ranges and so on uh, I'm going to briefly show you what that looks like but also just if uh, you're primarily just a tournament player the same thing is available here the hand chart deviation report like I said there's some preloaded push fold charts. Um, again, you can create your own and I'm going to go over real quick uh, how to do that in this next part of this video. So if I want to create my own hand chart, I just come over here to the hand chart editor and click that and it'll pop up. Now you can see a list of positions here at the top. So if I'm creating a hand chart, I want to create specific for a game type, so 6 max, full ring, 8 max, and so on. I want to be cognizant of which positions I'm starting with. You can see here it says full ring, first position starts at under the gun plus 1. So if I was doing a full ring, I would start here and go this way. 6 max starts at low jack and goes on from here. So it would be low jack or under the gun for 6 max. So let's say I'm going to make a 6 max cash game, 3 bet, 4 bet hand chart. I'd go ahead and highlight here, the hand, some of the hands I'm going to 3-bet, so let's say aces, queens, jacks, ace-king, ace-queen, and let's say there's some of these hands I want to 4-bet, let's say like queens, let's say maybe like half the time, I can go over here, uh, click on my queens, I'll see a bunch of combos here on the right, uh, if I want to do 4-bet 50% of the time, I would just highlight the 4-bet, and take half of these combos so you'll see it reflect here half of the time I'm three betting queens half the time I'm four betting um, and I can continue and do that with the rest of the hands that I want to um, add in three bets and then when I'm done I just click save and when I do that I'll just give this a test six name then this will go ahead and also come up as an option um, in my, well, I'll have to reload this, but it'll come up as an option in my hand deviation report. So I'll be able to run that uh, in future sessions and check and see if I was three betting and four betting appropriately uh, in that six max game. So 
you can see it comes down here, test 66. Of course, there's going to be errors because I didn't exactly do that 100% um, how I would want to. But um, yeah, so that's essentially the idea. And it's just a great way to kind of check up, make sure you're playing ideally, um, especially if you're trying to play, for example, a lot of uh, game theory optimal preflop ranges. You can really uh, dial those in and uh, it makes it really easy for review because you can see what you should have done. You can tag those hands and so on um, for later review. So super easy, um, great feature. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.